Hi, Heather. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. Perfect. Hello. Cool. What do I do again? So you should see right below in the Zoom window, you should see that green button that says share screen. I think it says the same exact that it says on mine. Like mine says share screen and it's a it's a green button. Okay. So and go then ahead. I go to desktop. Yeah. Perfect. So let's just dive into your, your ads manager and then um, I can for sure tell you exactly what's going on. Okay. Do I go ahead and go in or? Yeah, you can go Google Chrome and then just go to. Um, I got it Chrome. right here actually. Yeah, let's go into the actual ads manager. So right here you'll see, you'll see stats and you can see some basic numbers, but let's go into the actual ad. So click on create at the very top, create and then click on um, click on add. Actually not create an ad, just click on create right there above where it says Heather home in the blue, like at the very top, yeah, right there. Create, create and then click on add. You can get to it from there. Okay, perfect. And then what we'll do is we'll click on, um, click on the three lines in the top left, which should pull up here. So either three lines or it's that, um, yeah, those three lines in the top left. <clears throat> click on that and then click on ads manager. And then. Um, Wait, I don't know what happened. Yeah, right ads manager. Yeah, perfect. Your baby girl I, is so cute. Oh my <laughs> gosh, Heather. Time is flying. <laughs> We're having another one. It's like, well, another, another, another <laughs> baby, but a little boy. And it's like, gosh, dude, I'm super excited. I don't even know what to expect. But at the same time, it's like, it's such a crazy time in this world where I'm kind of yeah. like, you know, most parents, I mean, obviously I'm freaking fired up, right? I mean, we're having a kid, but at the same time with the climate of where we're at, it's like, dude, it's kind of freaky. You know, it's like this, this world is, is for our little ones, like they're going to be growing up. Every generation grows up in a different era, but but these little ones that we have now, like they're literally growing up in a completely not even a different era. They're going to be growing up in a completely different world. Yes. And 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 as optimistic as I am and positive, I don't know what this new world is going to look like, and it looks kind of freaking scary to me. Like, yeah. So that's just what's on my mind, you know. Having a kid at this time, it's like, oh man, I don't know what the heck. I I just got to keep praying, you know what I mean? Because yeah. dang. I don't know what to expect. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, Heather. Thank you so awesome. much. Yeah, absolutely. Which ad is it? Is it the top one? Or okay, so you got the Instagram and you and then you got the post. Okay. Right? Are those the ones that we're looking at? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I didn't know um that I had two of them running at the same time. So I thought it was just to like total. Um yeah. So So this is actually exactly how for sure you want to run it because sometimes you'll go and set up an ad, like you'll click create and then you'll mm -hmm. go and set it up and then you'll allow Facebook to run it on Instagram and Facebook. And it's one ad. That's what you're probably thinking. It was probably one ad, but what you really want to do is, sep is separate it. So right here, exactly how you did it is exactly how you want to do it. Run one for Instagram and then run a second one for Facebook. Okay. So it's like right? total like $180, $100 here, 84 over here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what you have. So Let's open up that second one. Click, hover over the title and then just click on edit. <clears throat> Actually, not the name, not edit name, but right below the title, you'll see that edit button. Yeah, right there. Okay, perfect. Okay, cool. So, housing and the actual, okay, so <clears throat> this is exactly why it's not, now let me ask you this. This is exactly why it's not, it's not doing anything for you um, because it's video views. So mm -hmm. logically, we would think, okay, it's a video. And I, and I talk about this all the time. Because it's a video, we think that video views is what we should run because it's a, it's a, it's a video, right? You would think that's what you run it under. But if we're looking to capture a lead, that's not the objective. Okay. So the campaign objective, it wouldn't be video views to capture leads. Now, if you're just trying to get exposure and trying to get you know, a ton of people to view it, Okay, great. But at the end of the day, like that hundred bucks, I need some freaking leads from it, right? Like that's what yeah. you're thinking. You're like, dude, what's going on? Right. And so it's very clear what we pay for 
we pay for views. But unfortunately, in our business, in your business, views ain't gonna, ain't gonna, we ain't closing escrow on views. You know what I mean? So right. that's not the right objective. So mm -hmm. that's, 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 that's the only, that's the whole problem. That's, there's nothing else to it. It's the objective. So let's go back to, um, and so close this one out, top left. You see that arrow pointing to the right. Close, yeah, click on that. And then let's look at the Instagram one. So uncheck that box and then, yeah, uncheck that box and then click edit on the Instagram one. Okay. So with this one, we have traffic. So now it comes down to, okay, where are we running traffic to? And I'm willing to bet that because you're so anti landing pages and Kartra, you're probably running that traffic. To, <laughs> and I say that jokingly. I love you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I'm teasing. But you're most likely running that traffic to your website. And that's the problem. So because there's no lead capture, because there's no form on our website, and if there is a form on your website, which I'll, you can easily pull it up and I can look at it, but I already know what it looks like. Yeah. If anything, if there is a contact, a little form, it's, it's a little contact form around a million different things. So for example, pull up your website, pull up the site that this, this is going to. Actually, you know what? Click on, click on Instagram post to the very, to the left. Um, yeah, that one, the third, the third one. Click on that one and that will show me the actual link, the actual website. Click on the third one one down so right here you have um this is where you would put the link so this ad was created on instagram and can't be edited okay that's fine so let's just let it populate and we should see the link of where of where you're taking them so when people click learn more so scroll down a little bit that's all i got Okay, so I wonder where the link is. Do you remember putting a link in this form, in this field though, in this tab? I don't remember. Okay, so learn more. In fact, you know what? Pull it up. Click on, click on that, right? You see that blue dot where it says two placements? Above, yeah, right there. To the very, very right, there's that little window. No, down. To the very right of that blue dot. To the very right. More Right there. Click on that. And then click on... Um, Instagram post with comments. So this allows you to actually see it in real time and see what it looks like. So I don't, yeah, I don't recall. Okay, so let's click on. Okay, so in this case, this may just be a video view ad as well. Mm -hmm. So and yeah, it, in fact, it for sure is because number one, there's no learn more button. So it's not taking me to a so, so you're running a traffic ad on a video with no learn more button. So that's the problem. And so that's why we have so many views because all it's doing is getting views. It's not, no one's able to click anything or go anywhere. But again, the reason why your website's not going to do it, because even if you did have people, even if you did have a learn more button and people clicked on it, you were most likely taking them to your website where there's a million things to click on and know where to capture a lead. Gotcha. So in, in this case where we don't have a landing page, we're not driving traffic to a lead capture page or anything like that. Your best bet to capture leads would be lead generation. So go back to the ads manager. <clears throat> and here's what I want you to do. I want you to, I want you to, so close this out top left, that little arrow, close this one out. What I want you to do is I want you, I want you to completely turn these off. Just turn them yeah, off. So I, that's what I would like to do. So click that blue button, the blue. Oh yeah. Shade it gray. So we shaded gray on the, on the third tab. Now go to the middle tab, the ad sets. Click on the, the, ad, the tab in the middle. No, up, right where it says ad sets. Up, 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 right there. That tab. Click on that one. Turn that one to gray. And then click on the first tab, campaigns, and turn that to gray as well. Perfect. Okay. So now, okay, so let's make sure that top one, that first one. So click on. Uncheck that box for Instagram posts. Uncheck that. Check the bottom one. The second one. No, not that one. Just, yeah, this, to the very left. Check the box to the very left right there. And then click on the middle tab, ad sets, because I don't think you turned off that one. Yeah, turn that to gray. And then <clears throat> the third tab, open that third tab up to the very right, ad sets for one ad set. That, yeah. And then turn that to, to gray. And even if you just turned one to gray, the whole thing's off. 
but I just like to keep everything color coordinated. It's just yeah. easier for the eye. And I, 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 w I want all of them to be shaded gray. So we know for a fact it's off for sure. Okay. So <clears throat> here's what, here's, here's the solution. The solution is to hit create. So let's, let's, un let's check those blue, all those blue ones selected, one selected, one selected, X it out. Yeah. X. Yeah. Click on that. Click on that. Click on that. And then click on that review and publish one, that blue button at the very top. Open up that real quick to the top right. Yeah, click on that. Let's clear this out real quick. You have one ad set. Okay, so just click on um, to the bottom left, try to publish. Yeah, click check that box and then click on the green one. <clears throat> okay, that's fine. Your ad were published because they had errors. Okay, that's fine. So all these blue right here, those are all off, but, this, but, but again, you wanna get in the good habit of making sure that those are all grayed out. So those blue ones, I would just, since we're here, shade them all gray. Okay, cool. Okay, so your best bet is to run it. Now, let's click the green, uncheck that one selected, that blue one, X that one out. Yeah, there we go, perfect. Okay, so click the green one. So let's start from scratch. And that Facebook post, the Facebook ad that you had going on right here, um, and go to, click on the top right, switch to guided creations. I use this one because it's just, it's just a little bit more easier. It, so perfect. So we're here. It's just a, it's just a different setup. That's all, but it's the same thing. Okay. But um, what was I going to say? That the Facebook ad that you had going, is that posted on your business page? Yes. Okay, perfect. So then <clears throat> here's your best bet. And let me just explain this part for you because it's going to really help you for future advertising. When it comes down to it, all we're, all we're looking for is a lead, right? It's not views. It's not video views. It's not even engagement. Engagement is just when you run an ad, always post that ad on the page first, just like you did, because sometimes people don't do it that way. They'll just come in here, run the ad, and the ad is just running in the background, and it's mm -hmm. not on the business page. And the reason why I put it on the, on the business page first is so when I go and turn off the ad, at least it's still on the page. Like if I'm going to pay for the ad, I might as well keep it on my page for the rest of my life. Even if the property sold, even if it was a, 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 you know, a past listing, it doesn't matter. I still want that content on my business page since I paid for it. Mm -hmm. But when you run it and you don't put it on the business page, the moment you turn it off, it's nowhere to be found, right? So it's just a good habit to put the post on the business page first. Okay. So with that being said, what most people would do is if it's a video, they'll do exactly what you did and run video views and then wonder why they didn't capture any leads because all you're doing is paying for video views. Okay. And then another option that people will go with is they'll go with engagement and all engagement is you post that on your business page, you run an engagement ad and all you're doing is getting a bunch of people to comment, like, and share. And the reason why I don't like doing that is because then you have to micromanage that post because you have to reply to everyone commenting. Right. And then you have to take them off of Facebook. Maybe you have to direct message them. There's just way too many steps involved. Like the purpose of advertising is so you can turn it on and damn near forget about it and, and, and automate the thing, not have to micromanage it and engagement. You end up micromanaging it. Traffic is when you're running traffic to a web page, to a landing page. That's traffic. Now traffic, it's just designed to run it to the page. And if that page is good, then people will opt in. If it's a website or if it's a landing page, if it's good, people will opt in. We're paying Facebook to run traffic to the page, which that doesn't guarantee a lead at all. You're doing exactly what it says. You're driving traffic. But in our case, we're looking for a lead. I need someone to fill out the damn form, right? So that's conversions. But that's only conversions if you have a landing page. So nine out of 10 advertisers are running conversions to a landing page. If you don't have a landing page, then, and, and you still want lead capture, then it's lead generation, okay? It's lead generation. It's that bottom one um, right below, lead generation. So it'd, it'd be that ad. Okay. Now, one reason why, or actually, I guess the main reason why I don't normally do that, but it's super effective, and, and, and this, is what, this is your best bet. This is your best bet. But the reason why I don't normally run lead generation is because, again, I have to, I have to manually work okay. everything right. because the lead, once that lead, once that person sees the ad, they click learn more. Now you're using Facebook's lead form. So you don't have your own form, your own landing page. Now we're using Facebook's lead form. So 
when people click on learn more, the Facebook form pops up, the person fills it out. That lead is in your Facebook business page. So I then can create a landing page. What's that? I can create a landing page. Okay. That's what you want to do. Then. So, so if you have a landing page, conversions is what you want to be running. Conversions. Okay. Yeah. Conversions. Now what you have to do though, is you have to set up a custom conversion first. And I literally just did a YouTube video on this today, but it's not going to be released until, you know, another few days. So you don't want to wait for that. But I literally talked about this and walked everyone through exactly how to set up a conversions ad. But what you have to do first is let's pull up your landing page real quick. Do you have it already made or? No, I have to go through, um, I go, go through LRE socials, like ladies of real estate. And I put in the information, they'll make one for me and then send it to me. So it's okay. usually 24 hours. Perfect. Here's what you have to do. So in fact, let me share my, so, so, so if you have a landing page, conversions is what you want to run. It'll be specific to, um, this house though. So yes. it, yeah, it'll be 1663. You're listing it and go from there, I guess. Yes, exactly. So let me show you exactly what, what it, what it's going to take. Let me share my screen real quick. Okay. Okay. Let me know if you see my page. Yes. Okay, cool. So here is an example of a listing landing page. They see the ad on Facebook, they click learn more, they come to one single page. What you have to set up first, now again, traffic. So if we're going traffic, let me, let me go back to the, to the setup. If we're running a traffic campaign, let me go to, if we're running a traffic, which you're not going to be, be, be doing, but traffic is to tell Facebook, hey, send people to this page. That's traffic, bottom line. And so <clears throat> that's not going to really help us achieve our goal, which is to capture the lead. So right. Facebook, they want to know, they don't want to know your goal. Like if I asked you, if I, if I said, Heather, here's a perfect example. If I asked you, Heather, what is your goal? Sell the house. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, right. That is that. Okay. Let, yeah. So what's your goal with the, with the, what's your goal when it comes to this page or when it comes to the ad? Yes. Selling the house, but the goal is to get them here, right? What is your ultimate goal? Not selling the house prior to selling the house. And I'll just answer it for you. The ultimate goal is to get people to fill out the form. Right. Right. So our goal is to get them here. That's a traffic ad. That's, that's, that's not what I want. I have an ultimate goal, right? Mm -hmm. So traffic is, is to achieve my goal, which is getting them here. But my ultimate goal is to get them to get the lead. Yes. My ultimate goal is to get them to click the button and get them here. I need to get them to this page. Facebook mm. wants to know what this page is. So our, our goal is to get them to the first page. Our ultimate goal is to get them to the second page. Facebook needs to know what this second page is. So before we go and run a conversions ad, what we have to do is we have to set up a custom conversion. So Facebook wants to know what the URL is for this thank you page. So when you get your page back, all you're going to do is fill it out as if you were a lead. That next page that you go to, that you land on, that's what we call a thank you page or a confirmation page. I want you to copy, and you don't need to copy the HTTPS. It's mm -hmm. just after the forward slash. So whatever is after that forward slash, that's what you're going to copy. Okay. So we're going to copy that. And then we're going to bring it over here and we're going to click on these dots. And I'm recording this, by the way. So you'll, you'll, you'll see all this stuff. Thank you. Okay. Yes, for sure. You're going to click on this up here. And in your case, it's, it's the three lines. Mm -hmm. And when, when, <clears throat> when, um, when you do see the three lines, you're going to just, click on it. And then what you're going to end up seeing is you're going to end up seeing custom conversions. It'll actually say it on, in the drop down. Your drop down may not look like mine. <clears throat> this is like the new, I guess this is the new change that Facebook just made. So everyone's will eventually look like this, but, but, but I don't think yours looks like, like this just yet. When you could only because I just saw you click on three lines, that's the old, <clears throat> the old um, template. So the new template is now these dots. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on events manager. But, but again, you're going to click on your three lines 
and you're going to see custom conversions. You're going to click on that and that's going to still bring you to the same page over here, which is, which is the custom conversion setup. So this is step one. <clears throat> actually, you know what? Let me, let, me, let me rephrase this. This is actually step two. Step one is, is, is installing your Facebook pixel. That's step one. So that landing page and the thank you page has to have your Facebook pixel. That's number one. And I, I'll send you a simple video on how to install your pixel. And, okay. and, and if you don't do it, and if the company that's doing the pages for you, they may be doing it. So if anything, you can, you can copy the code and just send it over to, 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 to your developer and they'll install it for you. Okay. But that's number one. Number one is your Facebook pixel has to be on the, on, the, um, on the landing page and on the thank you page. That's step one. Step two, we now have the thank you page. So again, now I'm going to copy this URL and I'm going to come over here. I clicked on the three lines. I went to events manager, but again, you're going to click on the three lines and click on custom conversions. And that's going to bring you here. Once you're here, you click on custom conversions right there. <clears throat> and then now we're going to click on this blue button to the right, create custom conversion. And now we're going to paste this in just like that. And down here, you can name it the listing, 777 Plaza Boulevard. Mm -hmm. And then under category, it would be lead. And then down here, value, you don't need to worry about value. And then you click on create. That's it. And that, that right there is telling Facebook, hey, here is the thank you page. My ultimate goal is to get people here. So don't just get them to the landing page, Facebook. I'm not paying you just to get you to get them to the landing page. I'm paying you to get them to the thank you page. I'll have to look at it again. I think what it does, um, I guess for the landing page is, and I'll have to look on my website, but I believe it, it automatically says, um, you know, request more information and it gives them the option to put in their, their information. Then it redirects to my Gmail and it says, Hey, this is, you know, you have a lead that people want more information on this house. Okay. So I don't so then, have a thank you page. It's just um, a, like a standard. Um, let me see if I can pull it up on my phone really quick to give you an example. Okay. Um, just show you kind of what it look, you know what I can, let me try to log in on um, my screen. Okay. Do I just go to share screen? Yeah, you can. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me so if, if if you don't have a thank you page <clears throat> a thank you page that confirmation should be a completely different page so if we can't do it that way then conversions ain't ain't the ain't the ad you're going to run you're going to run lead generation and just use facebook's form but as i was going to mention the reason why i don't normally run lead generation ads is because once that person fills out the form, I then have to go to my business page, download that lead, and then upload it to my CRM, which is just more steps than I care to do. Right. Or I have to get this software called Zapier to do it automatically, and that's $29 a month or $25 a month, which I don't want to have to pay for. Right. So I just run conversion straight to a landing page, and once they opt in, they're already in my CRM, they're already receiving emails, and I didn't have to lift a finger. So, but again, let's look at your landing page and let's see, let's see, let's, let's go through the, through the actual process, fill it out, fill out the form and see where you end up landing. Can you see my, my, my page? No, go ahead and share your screen. Okay. I think I did already, but it, um, where did you go? Hang on. Okay. So, okay. so where did it go? I went right here and maybe I'm, I'm looking at it wrong. Um, this is landing pages and okay. then I go down here, you know, home values, list of homes, um, low credit score, market report. Mm -hmm. um, there's something specific uh, and I'll forget where it's, where I went to go. Um, property websites, maybe. Okay, so I guess I can, um, I'll enter 
something. I'll view the template. So it says the property address and then you scroll down and it says, this is where you're listing. Please submit bios that are no, um, okay. Four bedroom, three baths, schedule your private tour, show some photos mm -hmm. presented by, and then it'll have my information on it. Okay. So, Perfect. <clears throat> so then go to schedule a showing. It says preferred date, preferred time. Do you have mm -hmm. a realtor name, email, and phone number? And then okay. schedule. So right when you click schedule, where mm -hmm. does it take you? That's the million dollar question. That's what we need. Okay, so I would have to look. What is today? Is this a live site or I think that is this, this may just be a demo page. Yeah, I think it's a demo page. It would, I think it would just say, thank you for your request. Somebody would get to you shortly perfect. and then I would receive an email. Yeah, um, perfect. Yeah. With That's your page. thank you page. So okay. just like, just like this page at the top, viewandtour.com that thank you page is going to be a different url it might say view and tour thank you for scheduling or whatever the hell it is mm -hmm. that's what i'm saying so that url we create a custom conversion around okay and then and then and so so figure that part out that that won't be that won't be hard at all just once you get your page live fill it out and where does it take you next that page is what we set up as a as a custom conversion so once we set that custom oh, conversion. Once, the, once the, the next one is where I copy the link, not the first one, but the not second. Not the first one. Exactly. Okay. The first one is for traffic. So traffic is, okay, Facebook, my goal is to get them to my page. Right. But what we want is the ultimate goal. My goal is to get them to the second page. That's conversions. So you set up a custom conversion. You run a convert. So, so let me show you the next part. So check on the box, just get in the habit of checking that box up there, special ad category, check on that box. Let me just show you the setup real quick. Okay. So once you set up the custom conversion, check on that box, I'm creating a campaign for ads. Yeah, that one. So you gotta always check that box and then go conversions, click on conversions. Oh. And then, and then hit the blue button below. Okay, perfect. Continue. So this is where this is where it, it all happens. So everything else is the same. Targeting, budget, the ad. Again, put the ad on the business page first, um, and then right here is where we're going to tell Facebook. So right there in the mid, in the red, mm -hmm. click there. When you click there, you'll see the custom conversion that you just set up. So if you scroll down. You can like you'll see it right there, and 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 you'll name it something. So just like I did, seven 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 Plaza Boulevard, you'll see that right there. And then what you do is you click on it. On this one. On well, we haven't you haven't set it up yet, but I'm just oh. giving you the example. So when you do set it up as a custom conversion, you'll see it right there. Okay, and okay? it'll say conversion. It won't say conversion. It'll say whatever the heck you titled it under. So okay. seven 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 Plaza Boulevard gotcha. is what I titled it. So I would see that right there. Okay. And and so that's what you would choose. You would choose that, that conversion, and then you would just go through the, the normal setup. And so now we're telling Facebook, Hey man, I'm looking for leads. Bottom line. Mm -hmm. That's how you capture leads. So it's the conversion ad. And then once I'm done, I would hit set up conversions. No, once you're, you'll just click on, you'll just click the red and, and you'll just choose that one that you just set up, uh -huh. which it's not there right now, but you'll right. click on it. And then you'll just scroll down and you'll just go through as you set up any normal ad. So you'll click on the audience. You'll click on the location. You'll click on um, with placements. You can just leave it automatic, just mm -hmm. leave it on automatic placements. But um, you can't, you can no longer target age or gender. So none of that matters anymore, nor, nor does it even matter at all. Mm -hmm. And then um, what I would do is I would just type in that address. So type in your actual, when it comes to the targeting, I would type in your address and by default, it's going to target 15 miles around that address. So right here, I would just hit edit detail. Is that no, what, what I would do is um, when you, uh, on the detail targeting, uh -huh. so scroll down, click on edit to the right. So right there, well, first of all, you don't have to put anything right here. It's the actual, okay, I'm sorry. It's the location. So right there where you see, so, so in the detail targeting, I would leave it blank. I wouldn't target Zillow or realtor.com. Like I wouldn't target anything. I would just leave it blank because we're only working with a 15 mile radius. 
Mm -hmm. So for the dollar amount that, that you're going to spend, which is not a whole, whole lot, but I mean, a hundred bucks is a hundred bucks, right? No disrespect. That still is money. But at the same time, it's not like we're spending thousands of dollars and it's not like we're, and it's not like we're targeting the entire state. Like I'm targeting a little area, right? Mm -hmm. 15 miles around my physical address. And so I leave the targeting open and then right here, yeah, you can type in, you can either type, type in the address. What I would do is I would type in the address. Okay. So type in the address and then, and then see what it gives you. It'll, it'll actually give you 15 miles. Perfect. So click on that and then it'll say 15 miles, which is the minimum. Yeah. See, so there's 15 miles. You cannot go lower than that. Now you can go higher than that if you wanted to, but, 15 miles around that address that's a, that's kind of a far away that's already far enough i would think right i don't know you tell me is that I mean, if let's just say if we're trying to um contact um people from the bay area to get homes okay you know, people are moving from the central valley as well okay so then if anything if anything you can just type in the type in the city okay type in the city and then and then let it let it, it either go 15 miles 20 miles 30 miles totally up to you would that limit my um, who's my views the further out I go? No, not necessarily at all. But at, at the same time, um, we're not we're not looking for views. Views are going to come with it, oh, okay. but our ultimate goal is to capture leads. So Facebook's going to going to optimize for that purpose and that purpose purpose only. So whether it's a huge radius, okay, great. But at the same time the views aren't what we're going to pay attention to. It's, it's, it's the leads. Like we're only running this to capture leads. So you could target whoever you want really to tell you as far as the location, whether you target the city or you target the address. Okay. Okay. So whatever, whatever area, and you could put multiple cities in there if, if needed, but you don't want to overlap it. Like you don't want to, you don't want to put in that targeting right there and then also put in Tracy. Yeah, yeah Tracy. Cause okay. then you'll overlap it and there's no need to overlap. Okay. So if anything, and even if you, even if you, if you, if you were to leave that there and then, and then type in Modesto, it's like, you're still going to overlap it. Okay, There'll so still be a huge overlapping. Watch, type it in just for the sake of it. See, so you're overlapping. Now you're still getting that whole east, south, southeast side of everything, which I guess is cool, but half of it is is overlapping and it's just not not necessary. I would rather just take that address and rather than going 15 miles, go 50. Okay. So see what that covers. You know, see what see what 50 miles around 1663. See what that gets you. You know, go 50 take out the second one, take out Fremont. And does that cover? Yeah. See that alone covers Fremont. Okay. Okay. So it's totally up to you on this one. Um, yeah. I mean, you, is that, is that, far enough or, or are there other cities that you're missing um i mean i guess it's okay you know that would no. be good uh, maybe i was thinking maybe fremont because people come from fremont san jose um i think hayward's already in there um i don't think anybody from san francisco is moving over here they're more in san francisco down to san jose area so mm -hmm. i mean that that seems fine if i did 50 miles okay so that could be that could be it right there, and then you just scroll through or to the bottom, and then leave that part blank. Leave it on automatic placements. Um, go lifetime rather than daily. I would go lifetime. Where's that at? So click on the drop down daily budget, <coughs> and just go lifetime, and then set the calendar. It's always good to set the calendar as well, so you don't so you don't you know forget to turn it off. Mm -hmm. So I would set the calendar for sure. And, and whenever I'm setting the calendar, I always want to give Facebook plenty of time to review it because once you confirm this ad and then send it, send it in for review, sometimes it could take an hour. Sometimes it could take like 10 hours. Mm -hmm. So if it's right now, 1230 our time and I'm setting up an ad right now, I'll set it to go live at 6am tomorrow. 
That way I'm just giving Facebook plenty of time to review the damn thing and then make it active. So start. Would, yeah, start. I would go, I would go the 15th, 6 a.m. local local time. So um and then as you're messing around with the calendar here that lifetime budget always changes. So make sure you always double check that budget there. Cause that's obviously not what you want to run. So set the calendar first and then do the budget because it might end up just changing again. So, um, if I wanted to run it for a week, mm -hmm. I would just put a week, the week's time. Yes. The week's time. And, and I would just calculate the daily because it's the same thing, whether we're doing daily budget or lifetime budget, it's the same budget. But the reason the difference is, is that when it comes to our ads, Facebook, it fluctuates. So for example, today, 500 people might see it tomorrow, 700 people might see it. So it fluctuates. So if I put a cap on the daily budget, mm -hmm maybe that ad had so much momentum where 900 people could have saw it, but because I capped the daily budget, only 500 saw it. So same budget overall, but I go lifetime. So rather than 10 bucks a day for seven days, I go $70 lifetime for a week. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. So perfect. 15 to the 15 to the 22nd. Okay, cool. So scroll down. Mm -hmm. And then, and then you don't have to worry about any of that. So just go ahead and click the blue button. And then now we're on the third and final step. So all you're going to do in this case is you're going to um, remember the post is already on the page. So all we're going to do right here is we're going to click on right there to the, to the, in the, in the middle where it says use existing post. You're going to go with that one. So you're going to use existing post. You're going to hit that, that select post and you're going to find that post. And you're going to simply find it there. You're going to hit continue and that's it. So you got to set up that custom conversion first. Mm -hmm. You got to install the pixel. Actually, you got to install the pixel first. Okay. So make sure that that pixel is on the, the landing page and the confirmation page because without the pixel we can't set up the custom conversion and where would i find the pixel at okay so hit hit actually so your page did just update right now because before in the top left you had three lines now you have oh, the dots okay. so click on those dots and also you can always you can always um um you can always click on actually you can always search so at the top eli i'll be on in 10 minutes bro running a little behind okay thank you i'll be at 10 minutes okay bye so if you click, if you, if you go to search, you can always type in a word right there and you can, and, and you can find it. But at the same time, I'll show you where it's at. But like, for example, type in pixels, P I X E L pixels. And it'll, it'll take you to the pixels. So this right here is super, super important without this, not, none of this is going to work. So this is step one. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on home value leads pixel, that blue right there. And then in the top right, you're going to click on, um, actually, where is it at? Yours is, let me see, let me open up. Scroll to the, actually it's hiding. Scroll to the very right, yeah, right there. So right where it says setup, click on that. And then you're gonna click on install pixel. And here's what you can do. Click on manually add pixel code to website and then scroll down, click right there, right there, click. Okay, so now you just copied it. So what you can easily do is you can email, paste it, go ahead and open up an email, paste it and send it to your, to your person. Okay. And say, hey man, here's my pixel, can you install it? Okay. That's it. Okay. Now you can easily, if you went, if you X this out and you chose the option email, you could do it that way too. So watch, X out real quick. Yeah, X out and then and then click on setup. Click on install pixel. And now you could have you could have chose a third option, email instructions to a developer. So you can easily do that and then and then email it to them. You could do it that way, but copying it and simply pasting it is super simple too. Okay. Okay. So that's step one. 
that needs to be set up. Okay. And so if anything, bookmark this page, just from right here, bookmark it, you know, bookmark it under pixels. So hit that star to the left. Yeah. Actually up. No, that star in the, in the toolbar. So up, up to the left, right there. Okay. Boom. So there's your, there's your pixel. Get that over. And then, um, once I get that page, um, back, then, um, I should be able to go do the steps and go for there. Yes. Fill out the form as if you're a lead, go to the confirmation page. You need that confirmation page URL. Set up the custom conversion and then go and set up the custom and, and then go set up the conversion ad. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Heather, I, was, I got a lot to do now. I'm like, okay, my mind's racing. Okay. First get this and this and um, go from there. What yes. if um, they shouldn't have a problem setting up the, you know, the pixel, like adding it, um, installing not, it, right? Not at all. If they're actually creating the page for you, it literally takes them two seconds okay. to install the pixel. Okay. And they should know how to do it for And then once sure. they return it to me, then the, I would um, do follow the steps for the custom conversion and, and so forth, right? Set up the custom conversion and then set up the conversion ad. Okay. That's it. Okay. That's it. And so if you have a hard time with that, reach out to me once you have that page back. If you have a hard time, just once you have the page, message me and, and I'll help you set it all up if anything. Okay. I appreciate okay. it, David. You're Thank so, so welcome. One small favor, actually a huge favor, one huge favor from you. Yes. Will you give me a review on my business page? I sure will. You're awesome. You're yeah, awesome. Absolutely. So we're cool. um, your business page. Which just one? go to my personal page and, and you'll just see my business page link right there in the intro. Okay. Will do. You rock, Heather. God bless you. When Thank are you guys you. moving? Or actually, well, shit. It's, it's as, as soon as you sell the house, right? Sells. <laughs> right? Yeah. We're whenever the dang thing sells. <laughs> Every, we're ready to sold. go, packed up and ready to go. <laughs> awesome, man. Awesome. Well, stay in touch. Yes. Stay, stay connected it's on Facebook. Helpful, and I really appreciate all the information that you provided. So. No, you're so, so welcome. Reach out anytime and stay safe. Okay. Perfect. You too. Thank right you. On. Take care. Bye-bye. Right, Bye-bye.